Can love outmaneuver the military? Can love bridge the challenges that exist between a headstrong redhead and a resolute army helicopter pilot? That's the question at the heart of Operation Allegiance, the second book in this sweet military romance series, a gripping tale that has everything you could ask for in a story. Love, action, faith, and suspense. Today, I'm delighted to have the author with us to discuss the inspiration behind the book, the challenges of writing a military romance, and much more. Let's welcome Didi Lake. Hi, Didi. It's a pleasure to have you on this show. How are you doing today? I'm great. And thank you for having me. I'm excited to talk to you and, and just to share with your audience. Fantastic. Didi, you grew up as a military child, mostly here in Spain, right? And you began writing this story 32 years ago. I need to ask you, is this your own love story? <laughs> uh, no, my love story was much easier <laughs> than their story. I did um, marry an army pilot and um, we both are Christians and love the Lord, but that is about as close as to where it goes. And, and we live in Colorado Springs, which is part of the story takes place in Colorado Springs. So as far as that, that's, uh, that's it. <laughs> Okay, understood. Please tell us what the story is about. So it's a series, the, the Rules of Engagement, and this is book two, which is the one I actually started 32 years ago when I lived in Panama and uh, with my army husband. But uh, the story follows five siblings, the Sava siblings, and each book is about them and how they're connected to the military, or the army, the U.S. Army. And I wanted to highlight the different... Uh, lifestyles that are inside of the army, um, as far as the families and the romance and the, you know, those relationships that go on there, because I think a lot of people don't know how, what it looks like from the outside. Mm. And that's the only thing I did know growing up Navy and, and army. But the story is just about this, this one we're talking about allegiance is the story of a man who wanted to, to be a pastor as he was growing up, but, uh, an incident happens in his last year of high school. And so it just sends him in a different direction. So he's trying to figure out if he wants to uh, love God, love his, his uh, church, love the country or love a woman. And so the, trying to figure out where his allegiance lies is, is his biggest struggle. And then he meets a woman who doesn't want to marry a, or even date a military guy because her dad had been in the military and she moved around all the time and didn't want to do that. So this is their story of them coming together. Got it. Got it. And how much of the story is centered around the military and how much is centered around God? Um, so so as a Christian, pretty much everything you do is centered around God. Um, the book itself is not like super heavy, like uh, theology or, or a military mission. We really focused more on the relationships within the military. So uh, you might... Th you'll see where where the Alexos, the main character, he interacts with his boss or some people he works with. But as far as like what they do on the mission stuff, it's very little of that. And so I would say 2% of the book maybe, you know, is that. And, um, because we really wanted to focus more about the growth of the person. So the arc of the story is where they were in the beginning mm -hmm. of, you know, not knowing which who he wanted to serve basically, or thought he wanted to serve his country. And then the growth of his um, his personal growth. So more, it's more about that than anything else. I see. And it's important to mention that this work is a clean romance, a sweet romance, right? Yes, absolutely. It was funny uh, recently because I, I work for a Christian uh, publisher and I, I'm a Christian. And I write Christian things, you know, clean. And I didn't think about that there are other kind of romance that aren't so clean. And recently I, I mentioned to someone, oh, I write romance. And I saw a funny look come over their face. And then I realized, oh, later that they thought maybe it wasn't clean romance. But this is a, a teenager could read this and it would be perfectly OK. Excellent. You co-wrote this story with Susan Baggins. How did this partnership come about? It's a, it's a fun story. We both went to a Christian, a Colorado Christian Writers Conference mm -hmm. in Estes Park, Colorado. It was our first time. She was an editor already for a different publisher than the one I wound up working for. Mm -hmm. And I was very new, like brand new, my first conference. And I went there. And at the Writers Conference, you get to sit down and have these appointments with um, 
editors or publishers or, you know, uh, agents, all of those, whoever you want to meet with, you get a, an appointment with. Well, I didn't have an appointment with Susan, but I saw her sitting there by herself. And I thought, you know, I'll just go up and say hi to her. So I did. And we became friends right away. And uh, that was in 2014. And probably 2018, she asked me, because every year she would ask me, how's that story? How's that story? But her publisher wanted to look at it and, and maybe publish it. And I kept saying, oh, yeah, I, I'll get it to you. And uh, I think I was just nervous about putting it out there. And so uh, Susan said, you know, have you ever thought about having a writing partner? And when she came to visit me one time and I was like, no, who would that be? And so anyway, we wound up the two of us. She lives in Wisconsin, which is pretty far away from me. And um, we do Zoom meetings once a week. So we work on it that way as far as the, the planning and plotting and all that. So yeah, that's how it worked out. Now we're all best friends. Her husband, my husband, yeah, we're all good friends. Wonderful. Operation Allegiance, the second book in the Rules of Engagement series, highly recommended to everyone. Didi, it has been an absolute pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been great being here. Awesome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.